I haven't done this farm before, and uh, like Salvia, who's in the group, hasn't done it before. We're gonna be running in circles in round around this little box because the uh, the mobs right here they hyper spawn. I've put up markers. You pretty much just follow the marks, man. Constantly kill, constantly loot. When it comes to items of interest, there's a lot of them. A lot of tr different transmog sets. So there's pieces in the cloth set, leather, mail, and plate that are really good. And there's a lot of weapons that's really good. Um, the bow is really good. The pole arm is really good from this farm. Just gotta check the value and uh, check if it's a unique item. But a lot of good loot on this farm. Uh, another pro tip is when you're doing this farm is to loot these. The drinks, the sandlary pots around. They were like everywhere as you can see. But you can loot it and um, you can get... Let me see if we can get it. Shit, you looted that. You stole it off me. Let me see. There we go. The Jaguar is swift in its movement, increasing the speed by 75%. It's a 1 minute 75% movement speed buff. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. So you can run like without cat form and uh, don't have to worry about running out of energy. Damn, three more hours? Awesome. Don't, I did a three hour lack. That doesn't mean I'm I'm going for three hours, man. Shit. I always just stream until I... Well, on Saturdays, I stream until I don't feel like streaming anymore. And then it's bye-bye. New Longboy is terrific. You can place it anywhere, even the freaking ocean, and do everything. Yeah, the only thing is that you should have uh, you should have instant logout. It's annoying having a bank tune without instant logout. So if it's uh, posting on your bank tunes, at least you should place it uh, somewhere close to an innkeeper, so you can instantly log out. So you don't have to wait twenty seconds each time you log out. Go like after, and with that, I'll call it a day. Three minutes into I Love Thunder, 100k buy in lack. Oh, we gotta do a buy in lack soon. Yeah, at least a winner takes it all. Hey, soon, do you know why Mobs and Soul Farrak stopped following me? It makes farming really annoying. We were talking about that earlier on the stream. How back in the days, everyone would farm dungeons by pulling the entire dungeon and killing it at the end. But then you had dungeons like Sulfarak, where sometimes if you stepped on like an obstacle on the ground, like it could be like a tiny rock or like a skull, sometimes the mobs would evade and run back. Like it could be, uh, well, there's not that many great things, but it could be like this, like, walking or jumping and accidentally jumping on top of something and it, it would be enough to uh, evade the mobs and then there are certain dungeons that has like uh, evade points like in old man in old man you had to kill all the mobs ahead of the first boss because those mobs wouldn't follow longer than the first boss room so you would have to kill the mobs all the mobs before the first boss, and then you were safe to pull the entire dungeon to the end. Gold cap buy in lack, please. We could look into that. Hey, student, I managed to get my first speed set thanks to your videos, and I'm having a blast farming content. Thanks a lot. Didn't even know that was a thing. My man, nice. What movement speed uh, are you at?
I still prefer Monk for Ultimate Farming. Yeah, I used my Monk for a lot of farms back in the days, uh, but they nerfed Monks so much. So, uh, can't be arsed. But th there's something uh, exciting about pulling an entire dungeon killing it with one aoe ability and just looting the entire dungeon in one go i think it's fun and that's why i did it on like my monk uh over a druid even though i could do it faster on a druid i still did it on a monk because it was just it, it, it there were monks were so smooth to pull mobs with place down the statue and then you would use the crackling uh, jade lightning to pull mobs it was like an instant no harm spell. And then they changed it. Now it deals damage instantly and you will kill mobs trying to just pull them. You think so? I think so too, man. Hopefully. Appreciate it, buddy. How's it going, Cryptex? Monks were great in Legion when you had legendary boots. Yeah, because you had legendary boots, and then you had no damage before the first tick on Crackling Jade, and you could use the <coughs> you could play a uh, a brew monk and still have that flying serpent kick, so you had more mobility as well. They were way better. I can't. Cryptux. I'm streaming on uh, both YouTube and Twitch. And, uh, you know, they do media copyright as well. If I show this shit, it's, I have no clue if these guys have copyrighted their, uh, their video. It's uh, it's been fine so far. I haven't done that many YouTube streams yet. It's not. I mean, it's uh, not that long ago when I uh, first started streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. But only one stream has been uh, uh, demonetized, <laughs> and that was due to language. So that was uh, <laughs> looking bad at, back at the stream. Though the language was pretty rough, so I, uh, I it's understandable. Does anyone actually buy transport for 60,000 gold apiece? If yes, then which server? Oh, people pay way more than 60,000 gold. Yeah, 10x that, 600,000 gold, no problem. On a lot of different realms. Almost at 200% at level 80. Nice. I do have a level 80 speed set video uh, coming very soon. Ravencrest, yes. I thought people were joking about Blackrock, the German realm, but oh boy, I sell a lot. I mean, people, starting out, people weren't joking. Like Blackhand and Blackrock and all those German realms, they did extremely well. They were really good. Like compared to all like the English realms, they were insane. But then people caught on to that, and a bunch of people started playing on him, and then it became a meme. Like, I would say, yeah, Blackrock is great, because I knew half the chat was playing there, and they would be pissed at me, and I thought that was funny. Uh, but they're still good. Arch and Dawn also very good. Arch and Dawn is horrible. Oof, you never want to play there, Ramon. Big mistake.
I remember making 500k a week on Black Hand. Yeah, now you're making 2 million on Black Hand. Crazy how things are changing. A day. <laughs> A day, sorry. I have a lot of items that my TSM and prices being thirty to two hundred K gold in my bank accounts, but no way I will ever sell them. I mean TSM can give you a value of two hundred thousand gold in an item, but that might be fake value. If that item has the same appearance as ten other items, the two hundred K value is dog shit, doesn't mean anything. I watched your stream while you were farming the level 80 speed set. How's it looking so far? Oh, uh, it's cool. Uh, it's uh, looking pretty good. I did get the last item that I needed, the chest piece, off stream. On literally the first run that I did off stream. So, uh, it's, uh, it's good enough to make a video about it. Like, I have all the items to, like, show uh, people the ropes and what to get. It, it's it min max? No. I can definitely make it better. Oh, I would have played my own video here. But I can't be arsed to min max it when this tune is way uh is way faster. This tune is already a uh, couple of percent faster without being min maxed at all. Like I can make this tune faster as well if I wanted to. Watch your own videos. I gotta give him the thumbs up, man. To increase the, the ratio of uh, like and dislike, won't you? Uh. Let's see. Somebody um, sign up to the guild. Who's this? 20 level twink for low level farm. Got some twinks going on. Seventy demons are two sixty-four. The hardest thing to get for level eighties is plus speed. Unless you count the shitty five sixty-four gear. Yeah. Are you seeing the heart of Astro neck? Yes. Bum, bum, bum. But the question is, like, which patch will we get access to EC uh, BWE items again with higher item level? Is it coming with Siren Isle or do we gotta wait? Did, didn't the ring patch in Dragonflight have gear catch up? No. It didn't. Uh, you're talking about the um, the Forbidden Reach. Dog shit. Nothing, dude. Not in terms of BOEs.
It was sour like caverns and uh, first, and then um, Emerald Dream. When you get locked out of instance, how long before you can enter a new one if you've done it 10? Is it just a one hour mark? No. So the thing is, if you take, let's say you spend five minutes in a dungeon, you walk out and you reset the dungeon, you gotta wait an hour before we can do another run again like before that run resets 60 minutes from when you reset the dungeon so it's not like if you wait an hour you can automatically do 10 resets if you spend uh five minutes on every single run after 50 minutes you've done uh, 10 runs right and then you gotta wait 10 minutes before you can do another run again. Well, like Serum said, 60 minute timer for every instance reset. So if you do your first run in 5 minutes, but the next run in 10 minutes, well, you gotta wait an hour from uh, those 10 minutes. So it... And that's very that's not likely to happen though, but and it is realm based, keep that in mind. So a lot of people they have farming tunes on different realms. So if they do ten fast runs of stockades, they can go on a different realm and do another ten runs without being locked out. That's it is realm based. I thought you could queue into a random and reset the counter, assuming you complete the random queue instance. Is that correct? There is at least three ways that I know of that allows you to run an unlimited amount of uh, runs. It, they're all considered exploits, though, because you're only supposed to be allowed to run 10 runs an hour, right? So anything that you do that allows you to run more than 10 an hour is an exploit. But um, you guys are grown-ups, so it's not that hard to figure out how to do it. And if you want to do it, be my guest, but I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't recommend it. Can you do 10 runs on one server, then 10 runs on another server? Yes. Some of us are growing up Serms, is there true? But Serms is old for his age. Or a feature, yeah. Feature, clever use of game mechanic. What are we after here? I'm not getting much of value, it feels like. Salvia cow. You haven't received any of the big boy items. Very few people, if any, have received the best items that I can see, at least. But it's just a bunch of these items. Okay, so these, yes, they're not a unique appearance. But if you look up how to obtain the Skull Shatter Water Boots... You'll understand why somebody wants to buy your war boots, right? So a lot of these items like this one as well. This is the only tradable version of this item. And a lot of items are like that. These gloves too. There's so many unique items. Uh, you, When I say unique, they might share an appearance with one or two items. But you're holding the only tradable version of that appearance. Yeah, that one was patched, Serbs, but there's people still doing it. Did you do more than 10 dungeons months ago and follow a dungeon, though? Yeah, Q content. You could. That's 50. Wasn't it 50 or was it 40? Until you got locked out. I think it's 40 or 50 runs or something like that.
Couldn't you do more than 10 by jumping in backwards? <laughs> yeah, that only works in a raids, won't she? Cisco with a cloak. Which sadly sucks. That's an exploit. You're supposed to walk uh, forwards. True. I never walk backwards just in case I'm exploiting something. Movement speed one, beautiful. Some dungeons with the wing share lockouts so or that's some dungeons can be the four year runs in hours and die remote early runs. Yeah. Those are sweet. What did he get? Erp derp. Now there's 70k. Last time I got that, I sold them for 13k. God damn. <laughs> GG, man. Vibin is chilling, man. Sun will. I should actually in this macro for this farm. Let me see. Where's my macro? There we go. Slash use most of harmony. I think they went up in price lately. Yeah, 124 now. That's up. I gotta use an RNG toy. Murloc on me if anyone wants the increased RNG that it gives. I got the Monchi Murloc again. Excuse you. 
What do you mean? It's the same dress that you wear. Hello, student. Any idea if you will have a spot for the next farm? I have no clue, my friend. I have no clue. I don't know what I'm farming next. I was just about to say, dude, like, I'm getting old, man. It's, it's 9.30. This is usually, like, usually I would be in bed seven minutes ago. Like, Monday to Thursday, at least. But uh, the last couple of Fridays, I fell asleep on the couch at, like, 9 p.m. It's been bad. But now as well, I'm feeling it, man. But I'm going to be fine. Just need some more Coca-Cola and chocolate. You better be in bed soon or else. You can't speak much because you sleep half the day. You're like a koala bear in hibernation. I slept from like 1 to 5 p.m. today. <laughs> yeah, a four-hour nap? God. Wait, how do you know? I'm watching you. Nap is probably the way to go. I feel like if I had a nap midday, it would be no, uh, no problem. The only... Problem though is that I used to take naps like many years ago, and uh, then I would be completely destroyed if I didn't get my daily nap. So I can't take naps, man. They they fuck me up if I don't get to take it. He's allowed out to peace, Arms. Is that fucked me up though? In what way? Like you're gonna struggle uh, going to bed tonight, or I think four hours is so that's stretching it, man. If you're gonna take a nap midday, don't let it be a four-hour one. You're still tired. <laughs> oh. I doubt you're that old, to be honest. 26 now. And counting. I don't fuck with naps. Keeps me awake at night. Yeah. As it's no go. Was it a long night, though? What the fuck were you up to? You look young to me. Thank you. Hear that chat? Major lag? This lag? I hate it when I want to take a quick nap, but I wake up five hours later all sweaty and tired AF. Sounds like Vimy. True, how'd that happen to me today? Woke up the student blasting doom music in the intro. So I did you a solid, man. I got you up. I was going out with the girl that I dated last week. Went to this techno club in Vienna. That sounds horrible, man. Why the fuck would you go to a techno club? You're too old for that, Vimy. Mm. 
Why would you go on a date when you can sit at home and farm gold? And you live in a village, right? So you had to pay like 7,000 euros to take a taxi to get home at night. Twenty nine minutes. Elon Musk needs to bring out the version two of his robots that I can stay at home. That's gonna be good, man. Can't wait for robots. Most people are scared of robots, but I have it all figured out. I'm always kind to to AI when I use it, so the robots will love me. Yeah, it's gonna be a blast. Hey, student, did you learn martial arts in the army? Dude, this is not a, like, go being in, in the army in real life is not what you see on TV, man. This is not The Expendables or any of your uh, Rambo movies. You don't learn martial arts. <laughs> But you learn, like, you have, like, these courses where you go through, like, basic self-defense and shit, but, <laughs> you know, no. You don't actually uh, turn into Conor McGregor, man. Dude, I never commented before, but I'm curious. Have you put out a Dewar within speed set, Bill? Can't seem to figure out if there's any new tricks. Yeah, I was uh, working on that this week, man. So I got a video and a written, uh, like like an update to the written guide as well, coming very soon. Hopefully this weekend, like tomorrow or Monday or something like that. But uh, it's right around the corner, man. man. Hey, student, what am I missing? I tried following the speed set guide, and all I have is 197%. Well, kind of tough when I don't know what you have. Can you link your armory? Thanks, Ryan. I thought the army would make you a better fighter, but sounds like... You were good at running? Yes, but like, I, I was in the Air Force. You got 194 hours at Call of Duty. Uh, you, you wouldn't last half a second in the war. Assuming armory will work, true. No, it's uh, right above that, Rava, but I uh, I worked there afterwards for a year. Yeah, the triggers are pretty bad, Elder. There is two trinkets that can give you critical strike that are quite easy to obtain, though. Critical strike for Long Strider. Paratroopers, dot dot. I went to double dark moon for the secondary stat proc.
I can't remember the name of the Darkmoon decks, but might be a good idea to go for the one that yields you uh, secondary stat on proc and then just buy the Aska F ring and gem it with, uh, with Critical Strike. Aside from secondary stat, what can you see that's missing? Well, I can't see, uh, I, I can't see what you have. How do you think the Norwegian army would do now that considering the Russian-Ukraine war fought with a lot of drones? I mean, we don't have to worry about that, man. We're in the knot, though. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we uh, luckily we produce a lot of missiles, man. But we're a small country; we would get screwed. We sacrifice Sweden. Let me see, totem. Okay, you got the correct item level on your gear. You don't have uh you don't have speed on your cloak or critical strike, which you should uh, obtain. You don't have speed on your bracers. You got speed on your gloves, but they don't have critical strike. You got speed on your belt, but it doesn't have a critical strike. Speed on legs. Boots are garbage. You don't have any gems. Nah, you made a level 80 speed set without taking advantage of the 2% uh, movement speed from the gems as well. And you're not stacking the same secondary stat on your tune. Is there an updated speed set guide? I'm working on it, man. It's uh, soon done. I linked my armory above. What? I can't see it. I don't think you can link anything in YouTube chat. This man, a gold seller. Thank you. I'm honored. I'm honored. Hmm. So it's more complicated than I wanted it to be. It's quite simple, actually, but... Uh, the ideal items that you want at level 80 is... You want an item that has critical strike, speed, and a socket. That's the best. The items can't be uh, better than that. Critical strike, speed, socket. And then you can purchase items to give your ring sockets. So your rings can have two sockets in them. How come Sunwell is not a list of dungeons to farm in the gold guide? Well, we're talking about transmog farming, right? Sunwell is absolutely crap for uh, transmog. But Sunwell is a good dungeon to run for schematics. For the uh, the glasses, the, the goggles. Twenty minutes left, guys, until we change farm. For a level eighty speed set, should you use that new movement speed gem? Yeah.
Give me a ranking on these three Snickers, Twix, and Bounty. Twix on top. I don't like Bounty or Snickers, man. I'm weird. I feel like half or like 80% of the planet likes Snickers, but I don't know. And I like I like chocolate, I like caramel, and I like these nuts. But I don't like a Snickers, man. I don't know what it is. The best one? Dude, only people above 60 years old eat fucking Bounty. Well, it's, there's coconut in it. Who the fuck eats coconut? Only old people. But yeah, it's super odd that I don't like Snickers since I like everything that is inside one, but uh, no. I even tried the Snickers ice cream. I don't like it. I like the Mars ice cream, though. Bounty is crazy good. You guys are mental. Quick lunch all the way. Fuck yeah. Quick lunch is delicious. They don't have quick lunch. Closest they have is Kit Kat. Lord Drac with a follow. Appreciate it, man. But the Kit Kat? Not as good. This is not made out of Norwegian chocolate. Twix is delicious. Mars ice cream is bis. Agreed. It's really good. I don't think I've had any of the shoulder. Cisco got the shadow tube. Holy shit. They got a bad price in Origin Dawn. Oh, God. No clue what that is, so. Let me see, have you even got the blood tusk? Are those ass bad on my realm? God damn, they're bad, yeah. Argent Dawn, man, shit. Mm-hmm. You don't know Darrow O. Fucking Brian? I have no clue. It sounds like a soap or opera. Sixteen minutes left, guys. Wait, someone got the bow. Taylor Swift got the bow. Okay, how much is the bow on Archie known then? 18k, that's better. Bow, probably the best item on this shit realm. Right now. Boom, boom. And of course, I don't have it. <laughs> uh. Random uh, UK person. I have uh, seen a... I was... I went to a stand-up with a British uh, comedian, stand-up comedian once. His name is uh, McIntyre. I saw him. He was in Norway. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you bring the blood tusk shoulders and time-worn uh, shoulders as well. So they're almost a thousand gold each. I play on MG. Yeah, Moonguard is uh Moonguard is the NA version of Argent Dawn. <laughs> mm. 
McIntyre, what the fuck? Budget comedian? Dude, it's Norway. There's barely anyone that passes by Norway. Bands or comedians, man. If you go to Norway to do a show, it's kind of limited how many tickets you can sell. There's not that many of us. <laughs> I remember McIntyre made fun of us because the stand-up was literally in a like a school gymnastics hall. So he'd never done that before. Norway is the comedy. Well, he probably went to Norway because he go couldn't go to Sweden since the entire Sweden is a no-go zone. Probably his appropriate target audience. They love them. He's probably coming back, man. I love the shit out of him. I thought it was fine, but there was a lot of jokes that I couldn't relate to, so... Estonia has also some comedian guy who were on Joe Rogan's show. Estonia has comedians? Is that even allowed? I thought you guys were communists and you were just assigned a job. Would you say it's best when farming dungeons for transmog the set Ludopracer on Tisa min buyout? Yes. Always use min buyout when you're farming uh, solo. That's so great, true. That's like on uh on Cuba. On Cuba they uh they, they get the same pay if they're like a doctor or like a garbage man. But they get like a nicer place to live. Depending on uh, what they work with. Can you imagine? Fucking hell. I have a t-shirt a friend made that says, I went to Sweden and all I got was the stamp wound. About 15 of us had a shirt on for Swedish friend's birthday. It's true. I just finished 12 runs of Nax and I got zero lamented. But next time you're going to get three of them. I'm guessing Cuba doesn't have that many doctors. But like, I mean, you get that sweet penthouse, those arms might as well. Do they sell a UK version of that? That would be a regular t-shirt. You get the stab wound before you leave the store, most likely, Monchi. Tell me about it. I got 22 Nax runs without lamented. God damn. I have 10 runs left, but I can't be arsed. That's when you lose, dude. Because you just did 12 and you got none. And you're like, God damn, this is so bad. I can't be arsed. However, in your last 10 runs, you could get lucky. And you could get four lamented items. And then your average gold per hour would increase drastically. Which right now is dog shit. No, he was stabbed last time he was home in Sweden visiting his parents. That's the fun part of it. How the fuck is that the fun part? 99% of Nax farmers quit 10 runs before their big win.
Oh, 15 to 20 minute runs? Yeah, that's no boo, I know. You gotta make an army of druids. Are you gonna get lock invite, Philip? Let me throw it at you. There we go, man. Nine minutes left, guys. Under 15 to 20 minute runs, but I run with five accounts. Do you, uh, kill trash and loot the frozen orbs or other or do you only kill trash no frozen orbs i know people do it in a lot of different ways the most common thing is uh, is to do nine out of 12 bosses kill trash but don't loot frozen orbs I really just kill trash and bosses. Yeah. Time walking exploiter and multi boxing cheater. <laughs> Sounds like Urava. How do you do 9 out of 12? You run all the way around to get to the horse. This is boss last. Well, isn't it 9 out of 12? When you skip uh, Keltusad and you skip... What is his name? The guy with the role play in the wing. I always want to say Gothic, but is it Gothic? Or does he have a different name? It is gothic, yeah. Skip gothic, and obviously then you gotta skip the bosses after gothic. And Keltus saw it. Yeah, but horses is after gothic. Yeah, well you don't you don't do horses. I mean I haven't done this for ages. The last time I did Nax was, uh, well, I did some Nax just for like data for a, a video. But before that, it was like last time I did an opening of Lamented items, like shortly after it was released. You get 12 out of 15. 12 out of 15, that might be it then. 12 out of 15 tokens. Yeah, that, sure, that's probably it. I bring a friend to a dungeon farm, will it increase the chance of items dropping? Not for you, but you have two people looting instead of one. But you're going to get the same loot. So bringing a friend to a dungeon doesn't make any sense whatsoever, because you and your friend are better off running your dungeons uh, individually. Dio Storm, appreciate the follow. No, you, you kill uh you kill the dragon before uh Keltusad. You just port up, kill dragon, port back down again. But you don't go into Keltusad's room. Lot Rock, what's up, dude? Is really Nax B Wee's worth selling? That drops from the trash? Sure, there, there is some items, uh, but your loot appraiser will notify you. Crash has, appreciate the follow. If you get unique appearances, but it's not that many. Nah, we skip it, Vin Miller. Hey, student, I'm new to gold farming, and I've been farming for Deccan's shirt for five hours. Am I wasting my time? Yes, you are, buddy. It's a very common mistake that people do when they want to get into gold making. They go for, like, the holy grail of items. 
like they go for the item that's worth a shit ton. It's worth a shit ton for a reason. It's extremely hard to get. Sure, some people will get lucky and get it relatively fast, but the odds of that happening, very low. You will, generally speaking, make more gold farming uh, items that aren't as rare. An example is doing Uldaman. Uldaman is a dungeon that has like super items in it, very expensive super items, extremely tough to get. But on average, by the time you get a super item, you've made more gold on selling all the other shit that you obtained while trying to chase the super item. So, uh, it, it's a bad plan. Yes, I got the bow, the best item on my realm. I met you a few days ago in game, just made 5 million in 3 days. My man. Good job, buddy. Insane Scarlet. Oh, you got the boots? Those boots are good, man. I'll buy him off you 10,000 gold. Do I sell the goggle plan or learn and craft? Herp derp. You should, like, you should always, if you get a plan or a pattern that you don't have learned already, it's always worth to learn it and craft the item because long term, that's going to make you more gold. However, if you don't already craft transmog, it's pointless to get that one item and craft that one item, right? But if you plan on getting into crafted transmog, yeah, learn and craft. Thank you, holy get scam kid, come to riskful. Just COD. If you don't have a lot of else, I would do all 15 bosses. Well, time is money. I think you would be better off still doing 12 out of 15 and then move all your else to uh, Sol Gurub, which is daily uh, lockout instead of weekly, and do Sol Gurub instead and uh, aim for the Hakari plans. Random question out of the lurk, but how much gold per week do you make approximately? I never tracked that because I uh, post auctions on uh, multiple realms, but uh, uh, a couple million, man. It also depends on when I sell stuff. I plan on crafting mocks as soon as I, I get this great gold guide I've heard about, the, the Bible of gold making. Makes sense. Boom, boom, boom. Forty seconds left. Loot up, loot up. Go, 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 boys. Well, the series of ten million gold got today. What my first ever WoW token. Holy shit, dude. They will write tales about you, Rava. How does it feel to get beaten on every single lack? Dude, you haven't won a single lack with me. What are you on about? Um. GG, boys. The hour is up. Good job.